that's perfect. Okay, so welcome everyone to Business Model Republic, a series of meetups. Uh, we do create a monthly events to inspire people for a thriving economy, uh, because we have uh, meetups also regarding not only about future trends, but about um, uh, alternatives to the current economy. We are a team of two, myself, Estefania, I'm a lecturer and consultant and entrepreneur myself. Uh, my expertise is in business model innovation and entrepreneurship and committed to help other intra entrepreneurs. That's why I founded this meetup and also the e-learning academy eBloom.net. Uh, and Michael, uh, who is now co-host, uh, finance and business model advisor. Um, he's expert for fundraising, finance planning and business model development. And he's committed to growth and financing of businesses. And uh, by the way, he has a very interesting uh, website called businessmodel.company, where you can also read uh, some very valuable information about business models and, of course, always with a focus on finance. Um, so the topics that uh, we talk about uh, first is innovation and agile methodologies, um, types of business models, future trends and new work, and sustainability and economic systems. Uh, we have a few more meetups coming. Um, in November, we have uh, how to manage a company from uh, abroad. Yeah, in this case, we're talking about the, the Canary Islands. And in December, we are talking about how to pitch and why it is important because uh, you know there is only one chance to give a first impression and one pitch can change your life. So either if it's like your professional pitch or your startup pitch, uh, we're going to give some tips and we're going to encourage people also to work on their pitches. Some key facts, we're actually almost 6,000 members now uh, from more than 25 countries. We had more than 40 speakers and we've been doing this for uh, years since 2016 so now it's like we have done like more than 55 events uh, almost every month we have an event uh, we only have a break in august sometimes in in december but mainly uh we have events uh almost ev every month so that's everything from our side and uh, so i'm going to stop sharing my um yeah, my, my, my uh, presentation. And I would like to again say uh, thank you everyone for coming because uh, we have more people now and presenting our boss and a special thanks for Ro because it's 8 a.m. for her. And uh, without um, saying anything else, uh, just wanted to welcome her and uh, she can start presenting it if you want uh, to, to give your presentation. Uh, you're on mute. You're on mute. There you go, now. Perfect. So, can everyone see my presentation? So, um, my name is Dro Fernandez and I am really excited to be here. Thank you, Stefania. And thank you both of, to both of you for inviting me. It's, uh... Oh, you're on mute again. How is that happening? That I doesn't want me to, to speak today. Um, it's too early. Um, so what I, what I was saying, I don't know what you heard. Um, is that I'm Ro Fernandez and I'm here to reshape the story of how we get things done. And when I'm saying when I'm saying that I'm I'm talking about how we get things done from the perspective of collaborate collaboration and how we collaborate and how we make that effective. Um, So when we think about collaboration, a lot of times we think that if we want to go faster, we need more people. Uh, that means that any company that wants to develop a product, uh, develop a strategy, 
and when they think we want to develop that strategy or that product faster, they think the first thing they think is like, we need more people. But that's not true. The first thing that you need to think about is like, are your processes optimized? Can you save time? And the reality is that most of the knowledge workers that, that today spend more, more of, I think, over 40% to 60% of their time use coordinating work related to collaboration. So they are just coordinating work. They are not actually collaborating and they are not actually working. They are just making sure that collaboration happens. And, and then if we think about, I'm just gonna move this here. So if we think about, about this, we, we can start thinking about what, what can we automate in this process? And also keeping in mind that we need to set those smart goals in everything we do. Sometimes when we talk about meetings, it's, it's very funny. We start the meeting and we don't have any idea of like when that meeting is gonna start. We just have it in the calendar. We, and then and what we want to accomplish in that meeting or how we are gonna accomplish that, that goal. So we go to that meeting and we know that we are gonna be talking about something, but we don't have a goal that is set up to be successful. So you end up having more meetings. So when we think about getting things done, we need to restart re thinking about what do we want to accomplish because it's very important that we, are able to collaborate effectively. And why is that? Why should we collaborate effectively? Well, I'm not gonna tell you that you don't know, but right now we are facing big challenges in uh, social challenges, environmental challenges that we all need to be part of it, even businesses and individually. Those challenges are not gonna be solved with competition, those are challenges are gonna be solved by collaboration. But there is a big problem, it's a big problem with how we collaborate today because we are not using technology to actually collaborate effectively. We're still using the same methodologies that we were using uh, 50 years ago, a whiteboard. So what should we change to make sure we can collaborate effectively, we can use our, our brains and our, our power to find solutions. Well, let me tell you a little bit about me first and I will go over that. So as I mentioned, my name is Jo and when, when I was a kid, to be honest, I, I think I, wa I, I was a dreamer and I'm still there, but I understand a little bit more about like what, what the reality um, is asking me to do. So I remember that I was four years old and I thought, I think I can, I can save some of the animals that are gonna go extinct. And I thought I could make a difference. And I think everyone in here can make a difference individually by what you do. But the truth is that that difference is very small, but can be really big if you collaborate with other people. But I didn't know that. I actually didn't, I had no idea. So over time, I grew up and I decided to study design. So I became a designer and I started working my first year at university. And during those four years, I discovered that it didn't matter what I designed as a designer, my impact was very small if I didn't collaborate with other people. But I found an issue in there collaboration wasn't effective. And if I wanted to collaborate with other people, I had to spend most of my time making sure that collaboration happened. So what I did is that a lot of times when I thought, oh, I would like to know what other people think, um, I stepped back and I was like, well, I cannot deliver my project on time if I do that. If I invite other people to the project and next month, this is not going to be done because I need to coordinate all of this. So I didn't, I didn't invite other people to the project. I just made the decision by myself. So when I finished my first degree, I thought, okay, so what do I need to actually get better at this? Okay, so 
So to be able to collaborate, I thought I really want to make an impact and I want to make sure that, that I want to use all the diversity, the, the influence, the power, the, the, the develop better solutions, but without the time constraint, the coordination, the alignment, or the, or the personal mental models that stop us from, from reaching what we want. So what I decided to do is go to marketing, then I study research and, and human behavior, and then management. I did it that way because I had no idea how to reach my goal with the current education system. But in marketing, I found the, to the top secret. A top secret that, that for me was just reading one book that opened my, my concept about how I could, I could reach my goal. And I remember that in that book, um, I, I don't remember exactly what it said, but it was something about businesses are not here to make money. Businesses are here to impact the economy. And I remember that he had a graphic about like, how do we create jobs? How do we create products that are the products that we buy and perhaps that make us change our behavior? And, and I saw the opportunity to really think about how I could make a difference through business and, and reach more people. But again, when I think about business, the problem, again was that internally collaboration was a lot of, we had a lot of problems and externally to collaborate with other businesses, we still had a lot of issues because we still think about competition over, over collaboration. But to be honest, in the last few years, I see that things are changing. If there is a new era and managers, now they don't think they know everything. Managers be, are here to bring people together. One person that leads a discussion in a meeting is not the person that will be leading that discussion anymore. Everyone is part of the discussion. And people are not working from nine to five anymore. People are looking for jobs that are dy dynamic. They wanna work in different cities. And, and then, we are no doers. Most of our team are people that think as well and, and are part of that collaboration. So when we look at all the things that are happening right now, I want you to think about how will these changes affect collaboration? I don't know if anyone has any ideas or wants to collaborate with me and be part of this conversation. Do you think makes collaboration easier or, or harder? I think it depends on the way of collaboration uh, because collaboration depends on many uh, parameters. You couldn't just tell that I collaborate and I am successful. Depends on the um, culture, depends on the mindset, depends on the strategy that you use for your collaboration. All of these parameters makes your collaboration successful or no success and you may be a starty, but you need to stop. Exactly, I think well, that's a good point, right? Like the fact that that uh, depending on the collaboration, things can change. So it's another a challenge, right? We need to that a lot of facilitators and a lot of people that are managing these these meetings, these projects that are very collaborative, uh, need to keep in mind. Estefania, do you have any, do you wanted to say something as well? Well, uh, you know, I'm using Nova tools. <laughs> That's why actually you're here too. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I totally agree. It's like, and we also had a meetup by the way, uh, last January with this uh, very similar topic with the Manuel uh, from, um, I will send you the, the connection because I, th I think you should actually connect. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, uh, I think it's also after pandemic, things have changed so much. And uh, here we have an example where in this meetup, Michael is in Frankfurt and I'm in Berlin, you know, and we met uh, during this 
and we work together. That's it. And yeah. it's everything digital. And it works quite well, right? Like if we we have to adapt also to the timing. I can see here teams will work nine till five. That has changed so much. Uh, yeah, actually, and tomorrow I also have a class and we have a bit uh, very similar topic about collaboration versus uh, cooperation also. That's also interesting. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, so, so in the last few years, things are changing so much. I remember um, five years ago, I started working remotely and, and that's actually working remotely or working uh, at the office. Honestly, you, you should be even more effective working from home if you do it right. The question is like, how do you really collaborate, keeping in mind that people are gonna work at different time zones and like, you don't, you shouldn't have like, seven meetings in the morning to just make sure your team is aligned because otherwise you only have two or three hours to actually get a few things done. So how do we, the question is not if we go hybrid or remotely, the question is like, how do we make sure that when we collaborate, we do it effectively and we can collaborate with people around the world, taking, taking into account that, that uh, is very important to make sure we can solve um, global problems, and if you are thinking in business, then you can you can come up with solutions that that are aligned with what's happening today. Um, so I, I think the the question uh, needs to be changed when we we are thinking about do you want to work from home or you want to work uh, at the office. The truth is that doesn't matter. It can be can be done anywhere, but it's important that we re-evaluate how we collaborate and stop thinking about using a whiteboard because that was in that was invented uh, 60 years ago when one person was was the one was that was leading the conversation so so in all of this when things get complicated and collaboration um, is is extremely complex and the more people you have uh, the more complex it is, we have, we have one problem. We have one single problem, whether you are working in business or whether you are, work, you are trying to solve a social challenge. Um, anyone knows what the problem is? Any ideas? Zach? People. People. People, people are great. <laughs> no, no, no. There's three rules. No matter what somebody tells you, there's always a problem. Two, the problem is always people. Three, charge by the hour. <laughs> well, that's interesting. So, so I have a, I have a different a different uh, idea. So for me, the problem is time. No people. Um, so the problem is that we want to get things done and we want to find a solution. We want to develop a new product. We want to um, come up with a new marketing strategy by next month. And we want to do that. And we want to make sure we keep in mind our brains, our brain power, because why are we paying and why are we hiring so many knowledge workers if we are not inviting them to, to the discussion? If they are not gonna bring, bring value to the company, bring you their ideas, their knowledge, their perspectives to the companies, why are we spending so much money, right? So, but the problem is that if I really collaborate with the whole company, with my whole marketing team, and I keep the ideas and the, and we collaborate, I will not be able to do to deliver that marketing strategy to launch that new product by next month. Why? Because I need to coordinate so much more. And then I need to bring everyone in the room to a meeting. And that's pretty much impossible. If you, if you do it, I mean, you are a superhero and you should be speaking here today. Um, so time is the constraint. Um, and that's, and we, there is a solution, but with the, the solution is that we're still doing things the same way we were doing things 60 years ago, uh, but things has changed, right? So, so when time is the, the problem, um, I like this 
this uh, quote that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And this is a quote that was that that is being around for a long time. When you think about it, it's telling you that if you want to go far, but you are not going fast anymore, then you can go together. But we need to go far because the social economical challenges that we're facing today, we need solutions right now, not in a few years. Companies need to develop products and make changes to everything they do constantly. Things happen fast, so we need to be able to collaborate fast. So this quote, we should stop saying it. We should be able to say, if you want to go fast, go together. If you want to go far, go together, right? And I want to make sure that you think about that and you are able to, to find ways to, to do that as well. Um, so talking about collaboration is, is this graphic that was um, done by David Newman. And I love it because it, it represents a lot of the a lot of the reality of like the complexity of a project. So when you think about a project, we have the research, uh, the concept phase, and then we finally have the execution phase. And if you think about the, the tools and the, the, that we are using today, we think about uh, task management tools and, and productivity tools, those tools, we use them in the execution phase but we have tons of them, um, but that's the easy part. But nobody, nobody came up with a solution for the research to concept phase. That is when we think, when we collaborate, when things get complex. So why the only thing we use for this phase that is the most complex is a whiteboard. Makes no sense. Makes no sense that that's the only solution that we came up with. Um, so when we want to be able to be more effective and go fast during that phase, uh, right now, a lot of people, what they use is tools and methodologies that will bring pe people together and you will be able to collaborate during a meeting, usually during a meeting. So I recommend always using tools and methodologies because that gives you a how to, how to reach that goal during a meeting. For example, three tools that I recommend are the Scamper, the Solution Sketch, and the Business Ecosystem. Um, these tools are very easy to use and will help you immediately reach a goal. If you use the Scamper, you will be able to think about an idea and think about new ideas um, uh, uh, from different perspectives and different concepts. Um, if you do it with, you, with your team, um, it's, it's quite interesting because in less than an hour, you will get really well-baked ideas that you can move for, forward to the next step um, uh, in just one hour. Uh, if you don't know how to use this tool, you have it for free in Nova, the, the three tools, and you can find over 200 tools in, in Nova the same way, the same way you have resources, a step-by-step -step process included in Nova. The solutions sketch is everyone in the room uh, will a solution, but then you will go over the sketches and everyone will point at the things that, are, that they like, the things that there are risk and the things that there are, there are problems that they don't like. So when you, you are not just sketching, you are evaluating and forcing people to participate and see and, and evaluate risk in the same session in which you are designing and thinking about a solution. So it's quite effective because you are doing two things in one hour or two hours. And the business ecosystem is quite interesting and I recommend it using, using it or trying to use it every year if you have a business uh, because it makes you think about how you can improve the relationships you have with all the stakeholders in your business and how do you provide value uh, both ways so everyone is happy, okay? 
And again, if you don't know how to use them, you don't have to. You have exactly all the steps you need to follow in Nova. So next, even if I have tools and methodologies, I'm still inefficient. I'm still going to a meeting and I have half-baked ideas Sometimes I make too many edits. I need to make too many project reports. A few in the meeting speak up. Sometimes people, I, if I send them an email or I ask them to participate in something, they are way too late when they do it. And, and it's impossible to still be able to collaborate effectively. So what can we do? So first, to, me, to be able to solve the problem of someone coming to a meeting with half big ideas, there are two, two methodologies that are quite, quite interesting. One is the six page memo that was developed by, by Jeff Bezos. And he asked everyone in, the, in, the, in his team to come up with a six page memo. And I'm not gonna ask you to ask all your employees to write a six page memo. Um, but they need to understand the, the problem, the, the problem before going to a meeting. Why? Because if I invite you to a meeting and then during the meeting, I, I talk about the problem and this is the first time you hear about it, the ideas that you are going to come up during the meeting are going to be very simple. I probably already thought about it in my sleep. So um, what you want is that people come to the meeting with, with a better idea about the problem. So when they come to the meeting, their ideas are more developed. And then you can use that meeting directly to go to the next phase instead of going over through the brainstorming phase again and again. Um, this can be done honestly, with a two-page memo or one-page memo, it doesn't have to be six-page. And another thing that you can do is to have a silent meeting. He also uses this, this technique and is basically having 20 minutes prior to the meeting, um, a, a meeting in which everyone is working in silent. And that helps Keeping, uh, keeping all your team in the same room and also telling them that it's okay to take those 20 minutes to do research. Because otherwise you invite them to the meeting and they, they, will, not, they will not do the research because they are too busy, right? So you are telling them exactly that they have the time that you want them to do this, okay? Okay, so how how do we take advantage of technology and processes and, and automation to collaborate and lead co-creative sessions asynchronously in real time effectively without going crazy? So, so how do we okay? So there is there, there is a way to automate the whole process, to automate those tasks that you don't have to do manually. There are all the all the all the 60% 60, 60 of time that knowledge workers use to, to coordinate work about collaboration, that should be used, that should, should be done by a machine. It shouldn't be a person. It's something that can be, can be automated. So what, what I wanted to do, and that's what we do in NOVA, is to make sure that, that we automate that process. And we do it. One, because we want to make sure that when the company, when the company hires a new person or, an, or a person leaves the company, Nova keeps the, is the brain of the organization. And as a brain, Nova is the, the place that knows exactly the how to, how to reach to certain goals and the processes. So when you hire a new person, you don't need to spend hours um, training that person about how to create a marketing strategy, how to develop a new product. Nova will be the one guiding them so they can be on board in the company instantly. But also if the manager leaves, you don't lose all that knowledge, right? We are scared that when, when someone, uh, a manager, someone that is being with us for a long time, will leave, one, we, don't, we have no idea where documents are anymore, and second, we have no idea 
what were the processes that we've been working for maybe 10 years that are effective, only that person knows. So we cannot be, we cannot keep that information in one person anymore. It needs to be centralized and guide the team at the same time to be able to, to, to make sure that everyone can collaborate without one person guiding them. Um, and that is important too, because we are working in different time zones. So one person cannot guide a team that is working at night, right? So, uh, and that, that creates a lot of inefficiencies. The other thing is changing the concept of meetings for sessions, for smart sessions. And why is that? Because, because when we think about meetings, we think about going to a room and a lot of times our idea of a meeting is like another meeting. I have another meeting. I, have, I already have a mental model that this is not gonna be effective. Maybe one or two person will talk and I'm already tired thinking about that I have five meetings. So the session, when we, when we talk about sessions, we, we usually use a word before the session. We say working sessions, collaborative sessions. We already are we're already defining what we are going to do in that session. So we already have an idea of what's the goal. And secondly, I call them a small a smart sessions because in Nova, what we try to do is that all sessions start with a goal. All sessions have everything you need to collaborate and reach that goal. So have the templates, the, the resources, uh, the steps that you need to follow and the conclusions. So you always need to finish with takeaways. You cannot just leave and be like, good luck, right? So, um, so the, the sessions is the idea that you are going there with a goal and that session needs to re be prepared with the resources everyone is gonna need. And the second thing is that it's a smart because you have a start and do date that is not just a meeting. You are not just there one hour. You can be there for a week because you can have a goal of, let's say, building and evaluating a new business idea. And that, that goal is for a whole week so everyone can participate but you don't have one in the room facilitating that meeting. Nova can do it for you. You want to automate facilitation so people in different parts of the world can, can participate as well. So that's, that's why we call it a, a smart session. Um, we also want to make sure that you can, you can onboard new people, as I mentioned, making sure that they learn as they go so they can they can automatically know exactly what to do in your company without any training um, and you can improve con you can improve your processes as you move forward so you are never um, never developing processes from scratch and then make sure that you have a tool library accessible and then develop workflows and processes or on the go with one click. So make sure that you don't need to create a folder and make sure that you have documents across different platforms and different places that nobody can, can track. Uh, and make sure that you can track progress and, and have reports of how that those processes are developed so you can always improve them, right? you want to be able to go back in, in a year and say like, oh, this didn't work that well. Um, nobody participated in this session. These people didn't understand this. So let's change it. You want to have data uh, the same way you use um, Google Analytics to, to develop a better marketing strategy. You need data to be able to improve your internal processes. And then, um, when we think about businesses, a lot of times we collaborate with people ex external, right? And the processes that you have inside the company or outside the company, those are quite different. Like you don't, you don't show exactly what, what you do internally and what you do externally. So one of the things that we, we understand is that companies work and, and act in a different way when we are talking with, with clients or when we are talking with partners. So it's important that both spaces 
are com are connected, right? So I can I can develop a, a let's say a session for my client and my team at the same time, but I can manage who who sees what without without having different folders and having different spaces for each of them. And, and that was important to us because otherwise you, you do uh, the work twice. You are, you are providing information for your team, you, are, you have things for your team, and then you have your clients and those people that are external to the company. So in Nova, a lot of things that you have is settings to, and, and steps and, and a page for your clients that is unique to them to make sure you can do that at the same time keeping everything in the same place, but can be done in, in one, with one click basically. So in, to close up basically, um, how do we use technology to, to make sure we can collaborate effectively? Well, one is the, to have like a, collabor a collaborative space that has all the resources that you need to collaborate, but also, provides the, the safe space that we need to be able to collaborate. The, the second thing is a systematic thinking that is centralized for the whole company to have those, those processes that will guide everyone in the team uh, 24 seven without having one person doing that work and an and automating part process to make sure is not a human manually doing it anymore. And then to have clear workflows for everyone in the team and everyone outside the company. So everyone can visualize how to get from point A to point B without, without, having, without having to think about like what's next every single time and also giving them the confidence that their participation is important. So um, for me, this is the future of thinking. And I invite you to ask me any questions you have. Um, I'm happy to answer, honestly, any questions. So please, uh, please do it now. <laughs>